the Raven Arms MP25 don't send a boy in to do a man's job. I'm the strong survivor. There ain't no one as strong as I. As I waited in the longest line for the longest time. Now this moment's mine. Put the plow down on the land. See the calluses on my hands. Take no sick days. That's how I was raised. Mama taught me how to be a man. Hey, I'm a sin boy. Do a man's job. The Raven Arms MP25, founded in 1970 by George Jennings. George Jennings had a history with the aerospace industry. Once the 1968 Gun Control Act went into effect, all these small little pistol companies that were importing quote-unquote Saturday Night Specials, uh, it all dried up. And so one of his friends that owned a gun shop was complaining about not being able to buy these inexpensive pistols because he had such a market for it. And so George Jennings went into the business of producing firearms, uh, and these were very inexpensive. Let's go ahead and safety check the pistol, remove the magazine, it isn't loaded, and the chamber is empty. Uh, these were considered what they call the ring of fire companies, and th these were the inexpensive Saturday night special. I mean, this is the quintessential Saturday night special. It's been in a ton of movies. In fact, these pistols were made for over 20 years uh, by Raven Arms and over 2 million pistols were made. The funny thing is they were bought out by Phoenix Arms in 1991 and until 1991 to 1993 Phoenix Arms actually produced a million of these. So there are a few differences uh, with some of these pistols. The MP25 and then the original was the P25. There was a lot of legislation in the United States put forth to stop these from being sold um, as you know for drug dealers or petty criminals and because these things were so inexpensive uh, years ago when I had a gun shop and these were still being produced at that time we bought these for $33 a piece dealer price and sold them for $59 which is a huge markup in the gun industry I mean there's very usually the markup on a handgun is very light and so this was, I mean, it was a big seller, this and the Jennings J22, which I did a review on a while back. Now, one of the things about these pistols that's kind of funny is it is in 25 ACP. It's six plus one rounds, but they are very reliable. They're fairly accurate, and uh, they're just really small, little handy pistols. Excellent for concealed carry if you're carrying a pistol. I'm not talking about the 25 caliber. I'm not even talking about the quality. But as far as a hideaway gun, it's the right size. Uh, one of the things that the ATF gave out a notice saying that these guns could fire when the safety was released. Now, this one has this uh, safety right here that kind of moves up and blocks the action of the slide. Uh, the original was a little, uh, little slide right here that went from fire to safe, which to me was a little bit, didn't seem to be very uh, positive. The serrations on the slide, yeah, it's not too bad to get a hold of. Uh, the originals were kind of spaced out quite a bit more. There are a couple of other parts in this that were a difference between the P25 and the MP25. In fact, some of the parts don't interchange, so you need to know what you have. Now, you can go to Numeric Arms or Gun Parts Incorporated. They do still carry quite a few parts for these pistols. In fact, the slides run 1995. Um, you know, they're either a chrome plated or they do make them in a black, of course, this pearl esque type grip, or they have the wood grip as well. And so, you know, there were a couple of different types you could get. Uh, I think they even had a satin finish on this as well, with it was a nickel satin. Uh, the sights on here, just kind of a, on the top of the slide, they're fixed, they're low profile, and that's what you need for a little pocket or mouse gun. Um, it is a fixed barrel design, so they're fairly accurate. Of course, it has the 
heel type mag release and it does hold six rounds uh, one of the things that is a complaint about these uh, magazines is that it starts to get weak over time and from what i've read a lot of guys say they just go ahead and take the magazine spring out and stretch it a little bit and it works fine um, i've never had any issues out of mine and um, you know it's just a neat little uh, piece of history really clearly marked on the side all six rounds pretty cool for a cheap little saturday night special serial number here on the back of the grip uh, if it's six digits it's an earlier uh, production run this one has the uh, seven digits right here raven arms industry california then on this side model mp25 caliber 25 auto made in the usa now one of the things that labels a lot of saturday night specials are that they're made from alloy metals uh, and that's definitely the deal here. This is made from Zamac, which is a zinc alloy. Uh, really, with some of the larger calibers, they are prone to break. But on 25 ACP, because the recoil and the pressures are so mild, uh, the slides, the frame, uh, they tend to hold up pretty well. The extractor, right here on top, pulls that bullet right out, straight out the top, and allows for really positive ejection. The weight on the pistol, 13.8 ounces. The length is four and three quarter inches. The height is three and a quarter inches. The width is just about three quarters of an inch. Barrel, two and a half inches. Disassembly on the Raven 25 is fairly easy. A magazine's already out. Double check to make sure the gun is unloaded. And you need to pull the trigger. Uh, it is a striker fire pistol. And what we're gonna do, just bring your slide back a little bit. And right back here at the back, a blunt little object, just push it in. And then you can lift up on the slide. It is really simple. Uh, what you're pushing on right here has a little hook and once you push that hook in it releases off the back of the frame pull that out your uh, firing pin spring and firing pin firing pins are fairly hard to get i wouldn't dry fire these pistols uh, that much if you can help it uh, you can get aftermarket replacement firing pins though on numeric arms uh, there's no recoil guide rod it's just the spring uh, but it's curved in the frame, so it fits just well. And that's pretty much all you do. Very easy, very simple. This little gun is a very simple design, and, um, you know, it just works. Now, while this pistol can be broken down further, uh, this is all that I would recommend that you break it down. This is all you need to do for regular cleaning. Reassembly is just reverse order. Place in your recoil spring, firing pin, firing pin spring, your little hook, make sure the hook is faced toward the rear. Now just put your slide back on to the frame. Get that tool again that you used for disassembly, push in, and then bring it down. It's really that simple. Of course, you have the usual suspects lined up here. 22 long rifle, 25 ACP, 32 ACP, 380 ACP, 9 millimeter parabellum. Uh, John Browning designed all three of these calibers, and one of the reasons he did the 25 ACP was to get a more reliable uh, ignition because of the failures of the 22 long rifle and because they were prone to jam. The 25 ACP just is more reliable with a center fire. It makes it just more reliable. So that's one of the reasons why he did it. Now, as far as it being a good self-defense round, I highly recommend not going with the 25 ACP or the 32 ACP and and you know of course obviously the 22 now one of the things I really want to bring out though is that many countries don't allow for larger calibers in fact a lot of countries only 32 or 25 ACP and if that's all you have it's better than nothing and again there are going to be people that just have these put back they're not planning to buy another firearm this is what they have and 25 ACP again is better than nothing I would like to in the future maybe do some ballistic test with a 25 just to show the effectiveness and uh, probably will do that when I do the mouse gun uh, review altogether. Obviously, you guys know I've been doing a lot of mouse gun reviews and just been buying them for fun. I definitely have self-defense handguns, but the little small pocket mouse pistols, they're just, they're just really cool. And again, they are guns and I like guns. Now there are three million of these made, so there's a lot of people that have these put away for self-defense. It may be someone on a very limited budget, maybe someone that had inherited it. Um, you know, you never know. Just bought it because it was an inexpensive pistol, and they just didn't have the money. Again, 25 ACP is weak. 
but if it's all you got, you know, use what you have. Now, there's a lot of people that argue, well, save up your money. Well, what do you do in between the time you're saving up your money and, you know, if you have a break-in? Uh, this is better than nothing. There was a study done in Connecticut of the Raven MP25 being used in six different uh, altercations where a firearm was used. And in all six instances, the perpetrator was killed. It was a fatality. That's a really low study, but guys, that's pretty impressive. Don't discount 25 ACP. And as they always say, I'd rather be missed by 44 Magnum than hit by 25 ACP. I would highly recommend that you not shoot a lot of rounds through these. Um, I mean, you could probably shoot about 500 rounds without, you know, too much trouble. But after that, you're going to start really having some problems. Uh, just because of the way it's made. And I'm sure there are stories out there of people shooting a lot more than that. Uh, one of the big problems, though, is 25 ACP, if you can find it, uh, it's usually about $18, $19 a box. Uh, I did find a few boxes of it just recently, and you can order it online. I mean, it's still available, it's still out there, it's still made here in the U.S., but the demand is just not as high as it used to be. Uh, mainly because it's not really that great of a self-defense round. If there's some things I could say that I don't like about this pistol, yeah, I mean, I'm not really thrilled about the Zamac um, alloys, yet for 25 ACP it seems to work fine. Uh, it's a very simple gun. I would highly recommend not using this in a self-defense role, if possible. But if this is what you have, I would highly recommend that you use this, if possible. <laughs> uh, one of the things I like to say with 25 ACP is the rule is, Unload all six rounds and flight after you fight. Get the heck out of there. No malfunctions at the range. I really didn't expect any. Uh, I've owned one of these before and it just shoots. It just feeds. It functions. In fact, I didn't clean it. I didn't put any special lubrication on it. Usually with these small pistols, I'll put a little bit of frog lube uh, just to help them work along and it really does help. I've had a number of pistols that had some issues, used some frog lube and they ran like sewing machines. The sights are there and you can see them. The big problem is, is with the nickel plated slide, you do have some issues with glare. Uh, so, but really this is just an up close and personal firearm for self protection. The song I was using at the beginning of the video and here at the end is Gear Up. And it says, don't send a boy in to do a man's job, as I've already stated. The Raven MMP 25, great little pistol for what it is. Yes, it's inexpensively made, but they just function. And so, for what it is, I'm going to give it a big thumbs up. And this is the Saturday Night Special thumbs up. <laughs> be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. push in right here like we did for oops. shoot guns easy making a video that's where the work is maybe Edgar Allan Poe had it right with the Raven never more never more <laughs>